Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new topic in Science 7 which is all about land and sea breezes. This will be the fourth quarter topic and week 3. This topic is a milk based. For the most essential learning competencies, after going through this lesson, you should be able to account for the occurrence of the land and sea breezes, monsoons, and intertropical convergence zones or ITCZ. Specifically, you are expected to describe the land and sea breezes and then compare the two wind system, the Amihan and the Habagat, illustrate the occurrence of intertropical convergence zone or ITCZ and apply the knowledge of atmospheric phenomena. The air flows from high pressure area to low pressure area. You can associate the high pressure with sinking air and low pressure with rising air. The movement of the wind moving in a circular path is due to the effect of Earth's rotation. The influences of the wind moving in the curved path is referred to as Coriolis effect. Imagine that you are walking along the seashore at daytime. You can observe that the land heats faster than the sea. At this time, the air above the land is heated. The warm air rises and the cold air from the sea rushes in and replaces the warm air. The movement of air from sea to land is what we call the sea breeze. At night, the land cools faster than the sea due to the large specific heat capacity of water. At this time, the air above the sea is warmer than the air above the land. The warm air rises and the cold air from the land blows in and replaces the warm air above the ocean. The movement of air from land to sea is what we call the land breeze. Thank you. 